Hello friends, Radhika Ravi Kumar here. So welcome back to my tutorial. So in this tutorial we will look into the collections part again. So in the previous tutorial I've already discussed what is collection and what are the collection types. So now let us go uh, in depth with each collection type. So now let me discuss about this associative arrays. So we will see what are the points that need to be noted whenever we are using these um, collection sorry uh, this one of the collection type that is associative array so the first one is um, always associative arrays are um, unbounded okay let me just uh, take this off they are unbounded so what exactly does this unbounded mean so unbounded is nothing but whenever you're using and um, I mean whenever you're trying to create an associative array that is whenever you're trying to create an array you need not specify uh, the size so so that is called as unbounded so associative arrays are unbounded the second one that we need to note is the max limit that is max limit when you are trying to create an associative array is uh, 2 to the power of um, 32 okay um, sorry let me just go back 2 2 to the power of uh, sorry it is max limit is minus 2 to the power of 32 mm, I really struggle with this a lot sorry 2 to the power of 32 okay so that's the second point that we need to you know um, a note that is whenever we are using an associative array the max limit is from minus 2 to the power of 32 to 2 to the power of 32 so we know this scaling right the negative and positive scaling that's what we need to you know, look into so the third point uh, that uh, we need to note is um, this associative arrays will um, take um, negative subscripts So by seeing this itself, we, we can easily say that these take uh, negative subscript. That's the third point. So, I mean, uh, why I'm telling all these step by step is whenever, you know, you go attend an interview, the your interviewer may, you know, ask you to explain about the collection types that are available. If you go through the books and all those stuff, you know, the SQL books, PL SQL books and all, there are like plenty of things that you cannot even remember what to say what not to say about these um, collection types so when I you know give you point by point it will be easy for you to even um, you know tell to your interviewer when you're attending I mean when you're facing these kind of questions it's easy for the interviewer also to know that okay this guy knows these many things okay so that's why uh, so okay let me get back and uh, so fourth point is nothing but um, these associative arrays are not stored in DB. So this is a very important point. These are not like other associative arrays. When I talk about the nested tables and V arrays, you'll get to know the difference. Here, associative arrays, that's a ma very main difference that, um, you know, these associative arrays are not stored in the DB, just like our uh, records and all. So that's the fourth point. The fifth point is these are not reusable. See, it's um, very easy. Uh, whenever I tell a point, you will be able to easily make out the other point uh, that, yes, uh, you know, see, for example, when I say these are not stored in the DB, obviously, the, you know, the next point is that it's not reusable. That means, when first of all, when the array itself and the value itself is not stored in the DB where are you going to reuse it right so that's why so that's why I'm saying it it's not reusable so the sixth point is um, they can't be created uh, SQL level can't be created the SQL level then I'll um, tell you what it means then I'm going to you know 
show you some program based on associative arrays first let us see what is associative array the star array and then v array then we will go to the program okay then uh, we can say these are um, sparse in nature so what does this mean sparse in nature means uh, see they are non continuous in uh, uh, they are non continuous subscripts okay what does this mean i'll let you know that as well continuous subscripts okay so that's what it's sparse in nature then the eighth point that we need to see is um, we cannot delete uh, individual values from the associative array we cannot delete values from an associative I'll just write it in short a okay it's associative array so we cannot delete um, uh, individual values from associative array so that's the eighth point then the ninth point is like um, we cannot uh, use the extend method so we must be knowing I have already spoken about the different types of uh, you know those delete and you know the collection attribute that are available right so in that extend is also in a collection attribute so we cannot use this extend collection attribute in associative array uh, for uh, method for creating new slots uh, okay we cannot use extend uh, method for uh, creating new slots as all the slots are inbuilt okay so this is the ninth point the tenth point is uh, whenever you are uh, trying to access uh, missing subscript see there is a slot and you're trying to access that slot when there is no value in it that time what it happens is it will raise a no data found error to you okay hope you guys are understanding see if you are able to uh, go back to my previous or uh, if I already have gone through my collection videos then I guess this associative arrays um, you know tutorial is going to be very easy because I have already talked about all these attributes and uh, whatever I'm going to talk about is related to the previous tutorial so if not then just go back and then you can you know relate that video with this so the tenth point is uh, as I said when you whenever you're trying to access a value from a, a missing subscript then it will raise no data found error okay this is the tenth point eleventh point is um, initialization is not required during the creation of the var variable okay not required during the creation the variable then um, finally the twelfth point is um, these associative arrays are also called as uh, PLSQL tables or uh, index by tables Okay. so what exactly happens is whenever you're attending an interview the interviewer just to confuse you you know he might ask you uh, do you know about PLSQL tables or index by tables actually you guys already know about it because it is just the you know associative arrays in turn is like called as PLSQL tables and index by tables also so when they ask you, you shouldn't get confused and you know not yet no so uh, you guys need to you know remember all these uh, so that it will be easy for you to you know explain to the interviewer what exactly it means and if you you know explain these things and write a program on our sensitive arrays I'm very sure it will be your interviewer is going to be very much impressed so um, these are the things these are the points that you need to remember uh, and uh, what else so I'll do one thing I'll uh, just split this uh, video and I'll make 
another two videos on um, nested tables and VRAs. So just go through these points and understand when we are going to write a program and associative arrays and you know all these nested arrays you will able to understand you will be able to understand. So hope you guys are uh, you know, taking a very good advantage of my uh, videos. Uh, please keep sharing my videos and thank you very much for supporting my videos. Um, and uh, if there are any, any queries or any issues on these subjects then please do mail me and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And thank you very much for watching my video. Mm -hmm.